Hey everyone, it's Marco here from EXDA and in today's new video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of the app called Substratum. What it is, what it does and why you need it if you want to fully customize your Android phone. So let us begin. So first up, what is Substratum or Substratum? Well, if you did geography at school, you'd know it's a layer of rock or soil beneath the surface of the ground which is quite fitting for a theming engine like this. It's an underground layer, similar to CMTE or the Cyanogen mod theme engine, except it was birthed from layers, now with some added tweaks. Substratum activates a hidden theme engine on your phone and utilizes all of Sony's overlay manager service found on the official AOSP code review. This is similar to layers in terms of stability and customization as it runs off an upgraded version of the RRO system with the added benefit of running up-to-date Sony code on a customized ROM. In simple English, it lets you customize your phone's looks and sounds, from the keyboard, to the menus, to the navigation bar, to even your ringtones. It has it all. Your phone does need to be rooted though. I repeat, your phone does need to be rooted. I don't want to see that comment in the, in the comment section. It also needs to be running Android 6.0 or higher. It also needs a stock AOSP ROM like the one from the most Nexus devices or a custom ROM based off AOSP. Also guys, please read their guide on XDA as it gives a lot of tips and tricks if you're having some issues. Great, so to get it running, you can download the Substratum app free from the Google Play Store. It asks you for some permissions, so you can just say yes to all of that. You also won't have any themes just yet, but you can browse for themes with this little icon here or to search for them manually using the Google Play Store with the Substratum keyword. Themes come in both free and paid versions. I'd say first try out the free ones first before jumping into the paid themes, but honestly though, those paid themes are amazing and they truly fully utilize what Substratum has to offer, with continuous improvements coming from the devs as well. Once the theme is installed, you can tap the elements you'd like to apply within that theme and therefore create your own custom themes using various elements from various themes. Oh, and all of this without restarting your phone, which is pretty nice. A lot of developers are starting to migrate to Substratum, which is great too if you're concerned about future updates. Speaking of developers, a recent article from Dirty Unicorns relating to their theming decisions for the future said that many of our developers took a look at the code and really liked what they saw. Sony has done an amazing job with the OMS and Nicholas Chum has done an equally amazing job with his Substratum app. So it was an easy decision. We picked Substratum because of the smarter play for us right now and likely future cycles as well. In other words, if you're a fan of theming or you just started, you might want to give Substratum a try as it looks like to be the most preferred theming engine for the next few months or even the next few years. So that wraps up today's video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Are you using Substratum right now? If you are, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you guys think of this app and what you think of the future is for Android customization. But other than that, it's Marco here from EXDA. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. See you around next time.